Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and I want to give you an idea for the like best way to warm up, and that's basically by using drills that are reactive so and unpredictable, so that your body has to figure out what's going on and adapt um, instantaneously, basically, because it has a great carryover to everything that you do. So even if you put it into the likes of Olympic lifting, your ability, so at different days, weights are going to feel heavier, weights are going to feel lighter. So you know your pull is going to be better in some days and stuff like that. So your body actually instantly reacts to that whenever you're lifting so the way to train that in a nice sort of relaxed way especially if you're someone like me that just loves to train every day we need to find ways that we can train every day but not wreck ourselves so messing around with the likes of tennis balls is a great thing to do partner drills in my opinion are always the best because you don't never know what your partner's going to do and everyone that you train with is always different so martial arts is a great thing to do as well but like I said if you've no weights um, like me then you can use a tennis ball um, but even a lot of these drills as well if you have a partner throw the ball between each other and you know having to move in all these different ways because even in the likes of sport it's completely unpredictable you're never going to end up in a perfect you know lunge position with your knee tracking your toe and stuff like that you're going to be turning you're going to be twisting you're going to be jumping out of the way you're going to be doing all these things so you want a part of your training to at least reflect that the compound training and the big lifts and putting on muscle and all We've all got that down, but you need to throw a bit of reactive training into your warm-ups or cool-downs or just to mess around, really. Um, and like I said, it has a great carryover and it's not that taxing on the body. Okay, guys? So, will carry over to everything, so just have fun with it and you'll notice how fast your body starts to adapt and you'll also notice how um, dominant you would be on the one side. So even if you watch the clip in a, in a second, I always want to catch with my right hand, no matter how much I tell myself to be my left, my right one, if I start not thinking, it just does the work for me basically, so it's quite cool that way. So interesting to think about as well. Okay, so give it a go, let me know what you think.